Hey guys, society reviews here with my review of Godzilla minus one. It's been a rough go for Godzilla fans here in the United States of America for the last couple of decades. The 1998 Godzilla film was so bad, it took Hollywood almost two decades to get another opportunity at recreating the giant monster movie. However, a lot of fans soured on the movie due to its reliance on the human characters and the early exit of actor Brian Cranston from the film. A few years later, we got Godzilla King of the Monsters, a film that tried to recreate and bring back a lot of the old school Godzilla kaiju fans. We even got a Godzilla vs. Kong movie, a movie that I'm not sure how many people really asked for, but we got it anyway. The latest Godzilla film, Minus One, is the second film in the Reiwa era. The film set in 1945 is about a kamikaze pilot who's too afraid to actually do the deed. Instead, he fakes technical issues with the plane in order to land and avoid his fate. However, the pilot finds himself in even more trouble when a giant dinosaur creature called Godzilla appears at the middle of the night and attacks the island, killing everyone except for him and his lead mechanic. Two years after the attack, he starts a relationship with a woman and a small child looking to regain any kind of semblance of a normal life. However, before he has a chance to get comfortable, Godzilla is back, bigger and meaner than ever. And with no help from the U.S. government on the horizon, the private citizens of Japan are forced to deal with their Godzilla problem by themselves. The reason why Godzilla Minus One is one of the best Godzilla films to come out in the last decade is due to the fact that the film brilliantly finds a way to make the audience care about his human characters. Minus One is a redemption story about a man consumed by cowardice. A man struggling to live with the guilt of a failed mission is given a second opportunity to be the hero when his town needs him the most. And boy, are they going to need it. The Godzilla in this movie is not the same Godzilla you guys are used to. This Godzilla isn't here to protect. He's here to destroy. Minus One is a throwback to the early days of Godzilla. A monstrous beast that only cares about killing and destroying everything in its sight. For those who grew up in the age of Godzilla where it was nothing more than cheesy costumes and low budget thriller. One of the first questions to be had is about the visual effects. Believe it or not, this film was only produced for a mere budget of $15 million. A far cry from the near $200 million budgets that we have seen from the American productions over the last several years. With that said, the visual effects are both impressive and spotty at the same time. A film that is full with inspiration and emotion is going to remind American audiences exactly what they have been missing over the last several years. A film that is filled with inspiration and emotion is going to remind American audiences exactly what they have been missing with the Hollywood production of the franchise. If viewing Oppenheimer as a prequel to this film makes your viewing experience more enjoyable, well that's on you. One thing that can't be denied is that Godzilla Minus One is an absolute win for Godzilla fans. Minus One combines a great emotional story, great pacing, and enough on-screen disaster to rival Disney's current financial state, Godzilla Minus One is one of the most crowd-pleasing films of the year, and a film that is deserving to be on everyone's top 10 of the year. And a film that is deserving to be on everyone's top 10 list. I give this film a 4 out of 5.